Righto, so all that's wired up now. Um, so as I said, it looks a bit of a scramble, but the fact is it's very simple. It really is very simple. If you've got an aftermarket, one of these bits. So like I said, these are 150 bucks eBay. Cheaper, obviously overseas and all that, blah, blah, blah. So, yep, connecting, connect the four speakers up and connect the four speaker outputs and the subwoofer output and the auxiliary power, meaning um, ignition supply. So as I explained before, where they all are. Um, solder them if you can. Of course, that's much better to solder, but if you can't, meh, just make sure you get plenty of metal on metal um, and just join all the plugs up as per. So that's it for the front. Um, I've already run, showed you the wiring. So as I said, I showed you the wiring. Just make sure when you run this, as I said, don't don't make don't pinch it. So there's room down there to run the wires underneath the seat without pinching them. Don't run it along this edge, as I said. Um, so there's your terminal. Get that out of the way. So yeah, just remember that's a seat belt. Make sure you torque it properly. Um, I think they're about 38 or something like that. Um, foot pound newton meters or something anyway um, just have a look google it'll tell you but that's a child seat on that one so to get rid of that cover that little cover there that cover there you just just gotta get a screwdriver under it and lift it up and then you can get access to the bot the screw so that's your that's your negative um or ground so connecting up the amps i just left myself with a bit of room as i said the black one the big one that's running the base so that's very simple. I'll put it in bridge mode. You see left and right when you run on a subwoofer and that's all you're using it. Just put in left and right bridge. I oh, actually, bridge is probably not the right word. Anyway, whatever. So there's your single. So I've just used the, the rear um, RCA into the rear and then just put it across both the positive and negative there to get maximum output of the amp. Um, so power is in and the ignition supply which they call it remote rem whatever um and the uh ground so that's really quite simple that wiring and then that just goes to the subwoofer blah 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 um so the other one so again just left right front back blah blah the plugs only go in one way it doesn't matter which way it goes you can just play with that once it's done and, <coughs> and and the other end so i've used this as the all four speakers so you'll see the bridge mode we don't need that um so front left front right connect them as per and it, as i said these go back to the speakers via the stereo so they go into the same area where the stereo is and send the out to the speakers as i explained up the front you got the second supply i've got two 12 volt supplies coming through and uh, you've got your ground and then you've got your remote wire which i've just jumped off the other amplifier to make it nice and simple um, and that's really it so settings i'll do that actually let's turn it on i'll muck around with the settings i'll just so basically the initial settings right let's just do that so what do we got we've got filter 80 hertz so i'm using that side doesn't matter it's irrelevant isn't it yeah because i'm using the right right so right rear so what i need to do lpf so that needs that needs to be off i'm going to assume that this is a modern stereo which is probably around the between two to four volts coming out um, from the output of the um, um, speaker output so the speaker output from that stereo from the double din stereo should round, should be normally between two and four volts for a modern system um, so I'm just going to set it on two, and see where she goes, um, and that's it for that one. There's no other settings to put it on. So LPF is off. We don't want that on because we're running a sub, and I'll set it on two volts, meaning two volts coming from the speaker supply. 
that's two volts AC. So I'm just gonna guess that to what that is. So that'll do, I'm happy with that. Ah, oh, the clarion. So this is going to be run on both sides. So let's have a look. Um, right, so you got uh, base boof, which we want off. We don't need to run base boof because we're running door speakers. They don't have massive supply. So we want HP on this one. Um, we want the high frequency because we're running door speakers. We're not running a sub, so we're going to turn that on. Um, and we're going to see so that's the lower setting is 50 hertz. So generally, door speakers between 80 and 100. Um, tweeters are in 120. So I'm just going to I'll just put that flat, which will be around about the 80. Oh, around about the 100 hertz, give or take. So I'll just repeat that on the other side. Base off. Um, base booth off and actually that should be on on so that's is that L, HP and LP and H I can't read it HP yeah so that should be on um, so HP on there HP on there base boost off base boost off gain and frequency are set right. that should be right Anyway, let's turn it on. So I connect. I connected up the battery before. So I connected up the battery. That's all done. That's like I said. It just running the cable. It, it looks brilliant. It looks like it's meant to be there. See? Can't even tell. It looks like it's meant to be there. So there's your. So you make sure you run. No, put the stuff on. Make sure you do a good job. Uh, three, four. A bit of zombie. Why not? So, what do we want? 10. Oh, oh yeah, that's awesome. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the door speakers are working. Check the other side. Yeah. from here you can muck around with settings a little bit um, yeah so you can muck around with the subs uh, the amplifier settings a little bit just to give them a bit more power um, if I could yeah so once you've got it going I can't believe everything worked first go that cracks me up that did not normally happen so once you once you can do it here you could probably adjust the voltage a little bit That'll give you a bit, I mean, reduce the voltage down a bit. That'll give you a bit more base. So just be mindful where how far you go down, because you're going to end up buggering, distort and shit. So you could wind that voltage down. That'll give you more base. I right, know. Um, and of course, you can turn base boost on on your stereo if you really want. As for the door speakers, there's probably not a lot you can do. Um, you can, so what you do is then you muck around with the gain. So you'll see the gain setting there. So that can be um, you can you can I increase the gain. So basically, set your speed uh, your stereo on three quarters flat out, and then you can adjust the gain up, meaning increase the gain until your speakers distort, and then turn it back just a smidgen. Okay, do that both left and right. And if you really want to, turn bass boost on, but. I don't think you'd need that or even bother with the subwoofer in here. It's good enough. So that's it. Install done. I'm just going to tidy her up. Um, but that's the end product. So I'm going to tidy that up. I'm going to screw them down on the deck. Um, just tidy up the wiring a bit. But... And that's the end product. That's all in there all nicely. Blood box all back together. Um, I did, didn't mention before, but yes, you can run, when you put these in, you've got a USB charge port here, I just run that down the side here. I forgot to tuck it in before, but um, yeah, so that's a good spot to put them. 
uh, it doesn't it's nice and easy um, the back there's a the sub all mounted I just made a little clip that goes on the seat belt thing and just the same with a little angle bracket there so that's not going to go anywhere um, and only a screwdriver there and a screwdriver and that'll just lift out so I've just bent a little hook on there just bent it over so that can hook out so all you need is one screwdriver to undo and the disconnect the plugs at the back and away you go so good to go um, and there's the amplifier it's hidden under there so yeah she's 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 done come up really good very happy with that simple and bloody good it's, it's bloody effective too works really really good great sound quality anyway that's the install complete i mean it's a it's nice and simple easy 